The White House will use the Defense Production Act to increase the domestic supply of rare metals, including lithium, which is integral to the development of batteries for renewable energy. The 1950s era law was passed to give the government more power to compel private companies to produce certain goods for national security, like materials to fight the Korean War. The feds can take a number of steps to do this, from straight up taking over a firm to forcing it to prioritize government contracts to simply giving money to a company to research and build certain goods. The Defense Production Act was used by the Trump administration to boost the manufacturing of pandemic-related supplies. According to the Financial Times, Biden plans to use its low-end powers to give grants to private companies for, quote, feasibility studies or efforts to modernize the productivity of their existing facilities. Lithium producers saw their stock prices jump as news circulated of the incoming executive order, A reminder that the same profit motive driving the climate crisis is now being relied upon to get us out of it. And that's not a great thing because lithium mining wreaks havoc on the environment, poisons water supplies, degrades animal habitats, and threatens indigenous lands. Two Native American groups fought a losing legal battle in Nevada last year to block construction of a mine by Lithium Nevada Corporation. The Reno Sparks Indian Colony and the Oregon-based Burns Paiute Tribe said the mining was infringing on sacred lands, where their ancestors were massacred by federal soldiers in 1865. The court disagreed and allowed the project to continue. Look, it's going to require a lot more rare metal extraction in order to meet the global demands needed to transition away from fossil fuels. There's not really an easy way around that. In a just society, the resources around us, particularly the stuff below us underground, would be publicly owned and managed. That's not the case in our capitalist hellhole, though. The question is, will future rare metal mining be done in a way that is sustainable and respects the environment and local residents and indigenous communities? Or will it be done to squeeze as much profit out of the operation as possible? to enrich a few shareholders. All signs point to the latter, which is bad news for working people around the world who happen to live near these deposits, including in many pristine spots in the United States. Just recently, a massive lithium rock deposit was found in Newry, Maine, near picturesque ski slopes and swimming holes. It's estimated to be one of the largest deposits in the world with over 11 million tons of ore and could be worth over a billion and a half dollars. And you know capitalists are just itching to dig that shit up. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any of our new videos. Also, if you want to see Means Morning News in its complete form, not just the clips we post here, head on over to Means TV and get access to all our new episodes and our entire backlog, plus tons of other great movies and original TV shows.